We're here today for the MyPinPad breakfast briefing where I've been introducing the new PCI security standard for software-based pin entry on commercial off-the-shelf devices. This is all about enabling merchants to accept chip and pin transactions where they use their mobile device for the pin entry. So we invited around 60 payments professionals and retailers today to really investigate the new standard that PCI released in January, enabling the ability to authenticate transactions using a software-based pin on a mobile device. Payments are changing and people are changing. Um, we don't carry much cash anymore. We don't like queuing. We hate queuing. We want to pay and go. As a consumer, I want to be able to use my contactless card. I want to be able to use my chip and pin card. We've had a lot of development work. We've used a lot of experts. Now that we're beginning to promote the actual standard, we're actually getting the feedback that the retailers are really interested in this. Giving the retailers the choice is going to help them maximise their sales, maximise the opportunities for card-based payments. And so it really is a win-win for everybody. Up until now, PIN security is all about your hardware. Your PIN entry devices, your payment terminals, which you use in retail shops, they contain very sophisticated hardware security. What we're looking at now is moving that from the hardware device to software and enabling it on a mobile phone. By taking that pin entry security away from the device and moving it onto the mobile phone, you reduce the cost of these devices. By reducing the cost of these devices, we enable people who don't take card payments today because of this initial cost to become card acceptance merchants. So we're going to see a growth in the number of merchants who accept card payments. The PCI standard that's been announced in January really gives everybody the assurance that this is a secure method for authenticating payments in that device. Without that standard, it was always a question, but with the standard, consumers and the payment industry as a whole can be reassured that it is a secure process. Consumers and issuers trust PIN. It underpins what we do and what we've done for payments for the last 12 years longer. The security is absolutely essential to that trust. Will people accept this new way of doing pin entry? Yes, they will. There's trials are already underway in Australia and in London and there are no issues with people using software-based pin entry. It is a significant change in how we accept payments I think it's moving to where people want to go. People are using their mobile phones for more and more, so we're going with the times. Our goal is to be the first PCI-approved solution in the marketplace. Um, we believe we can do that because we have a lot of IP in this situation and we've been developing our solution for three years in harmony with the PCI standards. So we think we can achieve that and we wanted to demonstrate our industry leadership through that. As our poster here says, it's the biggest evolutionary step for payments in years probably since contactless and we are very excited about the opportunities 2018.